definitely need to uh, use to acquaint yourself with a new work environment because it's rather different than a simple office job. Um, let me just cut straight to the point. Uh, you read the employee manual uh, before you got here. That, that was your homework. Um, hopefully you did that. If you didn't, then uh, I don't know who's going to stop you. Um, Employee honesty policy. Um, but yeah, your night shift. Uh, you're in the security office. Uh, you're located uh, in the south part of the building. Um, if you look at your camera panel there, uh, you can see a little blinking dot where you are. Um, uh, you have a uh, trusty door, nice lock on it. Lock's well, pretty stable, I would say. Um, and that would be the really the only way anything can come in or out of your office. And uh, it might sound really abrupt, but that's what I'm about to be next, which is our animatronics. Now, there is no surprise that these animatronics are different than normal. Usually, we don't even need a night guard. Uh, we don't really encounter robberies or any of that, that kind of thing, right? Uh, so, a security guard is needed for us because around. We, uh, we're not exactly sure why, but we don't really need to know why. So, uh, all we know is that we need a night guard. So, and that's why you're here. So, uh, characters will occasionally get up and move around uh, from the stage. I mean, they didn't really go to you. That'd be kind of weird. They did. Um, but, uh, hey, no problem. This is all right. Um, so, yeah, anyway, if they do get close to you, I mean, Lock the door, I guess. I mean, if they uh, uh, do get a little too close to a few dads, but if they uh, leave, they probably knock.
uh, you know, sitting on your butt, just watching those cameras must have been pretty tiring, so I'm surprised you're back. Uh, well, uh, not too. Well, I have some new information for you. Uh, two important things, right? Uh, I'll start with uh, let's go to the kind of minor part, uh, which is the, uh, the vent shaft.
Uh, I don't really have much to say to you, man, because I don't even know you. Uh, I don't even know what this place is. I've just told to leave a message and say a funny story uh, to fill the you know, space, the void. <laughs> the void, yeah. Uh, I take that void stuff very seriously, man. Uh, you know, I want to be an astronomer, man. Uh, well, I'm, I mean, anyway, uh, you're... Oh, wait, oh, you left me a notebook. <laughs> he left me a notebook. Let me go get that. Here's the dope. Alright. Uh, keep checking cameras. I think you're doing that. I'm not gonna lie, I think you're doing that. Uh, check up on Foxy. So, uh, okay, I guess you're checking up on Foxy. Uh, right, right. Oh, yeah, alright. Um, uh, are you checking all the main three animals? Ro robots? Are you checking the robots? Uh, I will assume you are. Uh, Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica. Apparently, Freddy can dash to your office. What is that? He waits a long time and then he runs to you. But he doesn't run, he just moves kind of fast. Uh, I don't know what Rob is writing down here. I'm gonna be honest, man. I don't know why you're still working there, man. It's a uh, there's a lot of opportunities around here, man. You want to work a 12 to 6 job, man? I mean, I work at the gas station, man, making like a solid like $8 an hour, man. I mean, I just work a lot, you know? I don't have school, man. I dropped out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I just wanted to become a, you know, like a, a YouTube star, man. But, you know, uh, sometimes it doesn't always work out, right? It just doesn't always work out. Anyway, anyway. You are doing what you want to do with your successful life, you know, and you just keep track of your, keep track of your Freddy's and Bonnie's, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know why I was, I'm just gonna go, man, honestly, I don't even know if I'm gonna go. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let Rob know, man, uh, uh toodles.